Hello, today we're looking at an overview of the human nervous system. The human nervous system. Firstly, what's the job of the human nervous system? It is to detect and respond to stimuli. Stimuli being the plural for stimulus. We've got a receptor here. A stimulus will be detected by a receptor. The stimulus could be light, it could be sound, it could be taste, which is actually chemicals that are being detected, same with smell, or it could be touch. These are all stimuli. A stimulus will be detected by a receptor, and that receptor will send an impulse, an electrical impulse, down a sensory neuron. There's our sensory neuron. That sensory neuron will carry the impulse to a relay neuron, which is there, and that's found in the central nervous system. That broccoli looking thing is actually a brain in the spinal cord. The relay neuron is in the central nervous system, and the central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. And here is the diagram of the brain and the spinal cord that I was just talking about. So then we have the impulse goes from a relay neuron to a motor neuron. To a motor neuron, and that's just here. The motor neuron will send the impulse to something called an effector. And the effector is always a muscle and or a gland, a muscle or a gland. And that muscle or gland will then bring a response to whatever the stimulus was. So there's a stimulus, we get impulse going all the way around to our effector and then we get our response. So our response could be anything. You could uh, see a light and look away from it, you could taste something, um, you could touch something and the response would be to move your hand or something like that, but it's done through this nervous system like so. This diagram shows the neurons in a little bit more detail. So this is our sensory neuron, and that's the one that we showed here. This is our relay neuron, found in the nervous, in the central nervous system. There it is, and that's that one there. And this is our motor neuron our motor neuron, which is that one there, going to the effector. We're going to look at the labels on a sensory neuron and a motor neuron. That little red thing on the left is a muscle, by the way. Here's our sensory neuron, here's our motor neuron. The labels for the sensory neuron, neuron right at the end, we have these structures called dendrites. These are dendrites and the dendrite will receive an impulse from a receptor. Or dendrites receive impulses from receptor cells. This structure here, poking out, is called the cell body. And the cell body is where you would find the nucleus. There's the nucleus in the cell body there. Between the dendrites and the cell body in a sensory neuron, we have something called a dendron. A dendron between the cell body and the dendrites. And on the other side there, we have the axon. And at the end, we have what's called the axon terminals, the end of the axons. We find that also on our motor neuron at the end of the axon. This structure is the myelin sheath. It's a slightly fatty layer that insulates the axon, insulates the neuron. We could say insulates the impulse. It also makes the impulse travel much faster. The axon is just underneath the myelin sheath. And right at the end there, we have the cell body of the motor neuron with its nucleus inside. You should be able to label these parts and tell the difference in structure between these two types of neuron. So certainly worth spending a bit of time doing that. There's one more part I'd like to add to this. 
and that is um, this section here. So we've got the overview of the nervous system there, but as you can see, where one neuron joins another, there's a little structure, very difficult to see there, but if we enlarge it, it looks something like this. It looks something like this. This is called a synapse. An electrical impulse arrives at a synapse, for example, from the sensory neuron to the relay neuron. There's that electrical impulse. It will then pass across the gap in the synapse via the diffusion, via the diffusion of a type of chemical called a neurotransmitter. Diffusion of a neurotransmitter. This is a chemical that diffuses across that gap. Once it diffuses across, the impulse will continue as an electrical impulse. The diffusion of a neurotransmitter, this is slower than an electrical impulse. So the sending of the impulse is slowed down slightly by going across the synapse. However, the synapse does have quite an important role in that it allows the impulse to travel one way only, in one direction only. So the synapse ensures the impulse goes one way only. We don't want impulses going in the wrong direction. So that's our synapse. This has been an overview of the human nervous system and here's a summary of all that information. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.